All right, let me just get the uh, let me get the intro for Mike. What up, Mike? Intro video number two. All right, so this is gonna be from gold four to probably platinum floor, floor, platinum four. God, I know Mike's gonna edit the shit out of that and just make me look stupid. Hi, I'm Bill, and welcome to Clean Care. In this episode, we'll cover the procedure and techniques needed to top scrub a floor. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so yes, from gold four to plat four, I'm gonna be going through what to do, how to do it, break down gameplay, just like the first video. As I continually go up in rank, I will hold the people watching these videos to a higher standard. Bronze, uh, someone took my comment quite literally, and I found this very interesting. I said that when looting as a bronze, I'm like, loot quickly. I've kind of meant loot quickly off of drop because in bronze and in silver, when you're looting and maybe even in gold, when you loot, you kind of run into people that are like staring at a frag grenade for like a second, right? They're like frag grenade. And then they turn over and they're like ammo. And then they turn over and they're like gun, right? Whereas like you'll look at a predator player for the, for instance, and it's like grab, 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 move, rotate, rotate up, down, this, that, right? After you're done team fighting, that's where the difference comes into play. So as you get to like gold, platinum, diamond, like I'm expecting that you loot quick, you rotate quick, like you're, I I'm going to be holding you guys to like that higher standard of like what to do and I'm going to be pushing it. Now, when you win your team fight, take as much time as you want to loot, especially in ranked. This isn't pro play. This isn't, you need to loot and get to zone as quickly as possible. You there's going to be countless buildings open. It's all about pretty much just staying alive and getting to that building and like team composition, I guess. But there was a bunch of people asking me about certain legends to play in ranked, play whatever you want. Some are going to give you more benefit than others. I think personally to kind of go through like a legend list, if you will, lifeline's really good for, for ranked because you can res your teammates very quickly, hide behind a barrier. If your teammates go down, kind of provide that little utility for your team. Wraith is really good if you're an aggressive player and you don't forget how to press your Q button. So you press your Q button, you can reposition and kind of like outplay people. Watson is really good for those players who don't mind the camping meta. I would say if you're a Watson player in solo ranked, if you're vocal, like have a microphone and you are comfortable being vocal, this might be a really good legend for you because you're going to be like, hey guys, I want to bunker up this building. I'm going to fence this up. I'm going to put my alt here. I'm going to do this. We're going to wait in this building and then we're going to rotate slowly in. Da -da -da. Like you're taking kind of more charge. I'm Obviously, it's kind of like an IGL, which is in-game leader. You can also do that with Wraith, but that is more for aggressive players. If you're more of a defensive IGL, like for ranked purposes, this is a good legend. And it kind of goes for everything in between. Obviously, if you want to bunker up, you have Caustic. If you want to, you know, have a little bit more tanky, um, HP's Caustic and Gibraltar are really good. If you're an aggressive player, Bloodhound. I don't think Crypto is good for ranked on the lower tiers, mainly because you kind of need to be on board with the people you're playing with. More often than not, you're going to use your alt. And in the lower rankings, that alt has less significance than in Predator ranked. In Predator ranked, we see a crypto alt go off and we're pushing, right? We're like, we understand in our brain that like, okay, we need to push. We need to handle this. We need to get this going, blah, blah, blah. And in bronze and gold and, you know, and, and stuff like that, you'll see that crypto alt. And it's like maybe 40% of the time your team kind of knows what the deal is. For the most part, they're not like aggressively pushing off of that. They're not... They're not going, like, they're not fully comprehending the importance of a crypto wall. Crypto is going to be kind of more for higher ranking, if you want to do that. And I also want to say, I don't think he's good for solo queue. I think if you have friends, I think he could be really good. Revenant. He can be good. Again, his ultimate is kind of one of those things where, like, you kind of got to be on board. Like, you got to have other team members. He kind of falls into the land of crypto where you need people to be on board and fully understand what's going on. He can be good in solo queue, but it's just one of those things of not every time in the lower rankings are people going to understand what to do loba right now is in one of those legends early on where if you aren't comfortable with all the guns loba's really good early on because you literally land you get your all you place your all on the ground you get your guns your loadout on like all the ammo you get everything she's great for lower tiers higher tiers not so much it's mainly loba's good if you're trying to learn how to use certain guns you can get them off drop like that and then everything else just kind of falls in between bangalore is like a pretty good legend she's like in between everything octane is like is like a whatever legend it doesn't really doesn't do much mirage has its perks you know the, the invisible res um the bamboozling but one of those things where like maybe in lower tiers he's good but it's just one of those things of uh as far as like team composition wise it's whatever 
Pathfinder, Pathfinder used to be, in my opinion, one of the best legends to play for anybody and everybody. I still think he holds that position, but it's a lot less forgiving than what it used to be. Pathfinder players, I would say you need to learn how to hook. What I mean by that is hook is like when you use your grappling hook and you press jump and you kind of gain that huge speed boost or like, you know, you know how to move with the hook and you have that like solid movement i would say pathfinder players you he's an s tier legend by far but you need to understand his movement because if you don't you'll just die his hitbox is extremely large a lot of the times even in professional gameplay when a pathfinder goes in it's usually a trade he'll knock somebody but he'll go down in the process it's not like a legend like wraith or horizon that can like kind of like weasel wear out or bloodhound when he's alts popped and he's sprinting around the map or gibraltar that's like in his bubble things like that so rampart's pretty good i think i've gone over everybody rampart's really good horizon right now i think is one of those legends where i've been showing her a lot and and how to use her she's a blast great movement zero momentum when you're dropping off high ground her ultimate is a nice little crowd control she kind of has the all factor like the all of it factor so she is definitely one of my favorites um so yeah let's get started i wasn't looking on who okay so i'm just gonna get out of here or not. Or I'm not. I'm not going to get out of here. Remember I said I'm going to get out? Not. So I don't know how many teams are here. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I'm going to try to loot maybe underneath them. I have an armor with an alternator. It's enough. Wait. There's somebody right in front of us. Right in front of us. Right in front of us. Okay. I'm going to go for an armor swap here. They're fighting down below. I oh, come on, Pathfinder. Is that glass? Okay. Well, when I shot the Gibby, I, I took away his bubble and allowed me to rotate for free. But then his two teammates were just laser focused on me. So like, I guess I could have rotated without shooting. That probably was the better decision. But I shot because I was like, I want to show that, hey, I'm here. Don't look over here. And then it was going to essentially show that other team that, hey, they're fighting, right? Like we can third party this, but it didn't work out like that. Okay, so my team's fighting right now. Okay, one's underneath, one's on the bridge. Two underneath now. Okay, the rate's low. I'm gonna wait, hold this angle. I'm gonna try to kill him with this. Okay. God, Hemlock is just so good. I'm gonna pop a battery first. What? I love you too, man. Appreciate it. So remember I told you, like, if you have three pills, a good way to do this later in the game, what I do is if I have, like, a decent amount of loot, right? Let's say I have a decent amount of loot. What I'll do is, let's say this respawn isn't here. I'll open pill, open pill, open pill, and I'll, I'll move my body towards the zone, and I'll look in the pills and be like, all right, like, nothing I need. I save myself those few seconds of rotating. That's what's important is you save yourself this few seconds. Okay, when I press E, we get out. Ready, three, two, one, get out. Wraith one, yep, a lifeline one. Oh shit. An armor swap. They're fighting in here. All dead. Perfect third party. I'm gonna press my Q. I'm gonna back away. I'm gonna pop two cells. The cells are quicker. I almost, uh, they're almost fucking dead. I'm gonna knock him with this nade. I'm gonna knock one with that fucking nade or I'm gonna do 100 damage. It hit the tree. I'm sad. Cracked one, 77. One's flying up in the air. We don't have a Gibby. 
Two teams. Be very careful, bud. Okay. I'm gonna grab some more. If there is no heavy, I am forced to grab that. Okay, I'm gonna cook this grenade. That nade probably won't hit. What? Oh, hit him. I'm gonna do damage and then I'm gonna queue. So I cracked him. I'm gonna send it on him. His teammate's rotating without him. He's stuck in this behind the scene. Okay, now I'm gonna hold this rock. I'm not gonna go for the full kill just yet. Oh, his team's, his team's gone. His team's gone. I'm gonna pop one cell and then I'm gonna queue. One pushing up. Okay, I'm gonna go swing this way. He's gonna swing on my right. My team is gonna get the kill. Yep. You don't always gotta get the kill. You don't always gotta get it. Let your teammates help you. So right now, what we wanna do is maintain high ground. We just saw a Loba, uh, like store. There it is, right there. She just put that down, so she's over here. I started walking across. She went. I see him uh, right here. Follow me. Oh, watch this, watch this. Oh yeah, throw your Q up. Throw your Q up here. We're gonna go up. We're gonna go up. Toss your Q up. So I wanna get the high ground. So now we have full control. Gonna pop a battery. If the Gibraltar ults us, we push this. Okay, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna toss my grenade. It's gonna make the Wraith push. He's gonna go over here somewhere. Unless he already moved. I'm gonna get a different angle. Stay here. So I'm gonna separate the angles. So now we're gonna we're gonna pinch them. Okay, got one. Got two, three. Oh, there you go. Yep, you can pick them up. Wait, actually, jump, jump, jump down, jump down. Okay, bud. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna queue back up top. I'm gonna handle this guy up top. I'm not going to let this guy have angles on us. Okay, I'm going to go for this Q. A really aggressive play. I did not heal, but I'm going for it. Okay, he's dead. I'm not actually not going to heal. Okay, I'll break your sh**. I don't care. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Q over the wall here. Get some vision. Directly below me. Okay. We're doing great. Only two so this is really good. It's a really good circle for Pathfinder. Just because he's able to play a Pathfinder and Horizon, honestly. Because you're able to just control so much of the high ground. They're on the Loba thing. I'm going to use my zip here. I'm going to get an angle because I remember the Loba thing was on the stairs somewhere. Which means that they're probably over here. It is. Okay. I'm going to toss a grenade. I'm going to cook it. It's not going to hit now. I'm gonna uh, pop a cell. You guys stay here. I'm gonna get a different angle. Using hold them there. Hold them there. Hold them there. They're pushing back. They're pushing back. Moment, Cody, Charlie. Got Wraith. He has no dome. I'm gonna stay aggressive here. 
For someone's above? More enemies down. Using grapple. I'm gonna stay. Oh, fuck. Switch my. Okay, I'm gonna go for the full kill here. Okay. Take this Q, go up. Remember that armor swap. Okay, I gotta think about this. There's a Sheila. What are you doing? Still dropping off. Is it just one? No. Yes, it is. Oh, GG's. There was three. I love you, bro. Love you too, man. GG's. I love you, oh, I, I thought it was just one. You make good content. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. I didn't see the second one. I should have dropped sooner. I should have dropped sooner. When he was trying to like finish his body, I should have dropped sooner. Because he wasted his ammo. When he wasted his ammo, that means he has to reload and I would have just killed him for free. I just, I jumped so late. I'm trying to, like, again, this guide, I want to reiterate, this guide is basically meant for you guys to understand my thought process and how I think, how a Predator player thinks, how a pro player thinks, what goes through our mind, and our, like, the entire time of our plays, right? It's not just cut and dry, point, shoot, I'm dropping because I want the kill, right? It's like, there's a purpose to everything that I'm doing, you know, like action, reaction type of shit. So that's what I'm trying to explain in the guide. I'm trying to help you guys understand. And as we go up in, in, in rankings, I'm going to be holding you guys to that standard of like, your aim should be better. You should be moving better. Like when I say wall hop, you should know how to wall hop. And it's one of those things, if you don't know how to wall hop in the lower ranks, I'm like, hey, this is why wall hopping is important. Whereas when I get the diamond, I'm like, wall hop, armor swap, move to this, hold the door, do, you know what I mean? Throw the thermite, turn sideways. You know what I mean? Like, so your thermite is in the directional that you want. Like, you should know all of these things. By the time that we get to diamond, you'll have like a general understanding of how things work. I'm gonna get an heirloom real quick. Uh Heirloom me. Okay, or don't. Now, you could be good and still have a hard time solo queuing out of Diamond to Master, though. Of course. Anybody that solo queues from Diamond to Masters is like, they're a good player, man. It's hard. Hit shots and armor swap. That's the key. Also be a god. Listen, out of everything that I've taught, the one thing that I can recommend to everybody is quite literally armor swap. Armor swapping is everything. By the way, guys, if you guys can go to my YouTube right here. This is my YouTube. You go to my YouTube. Apex Legends, Rank God, How to Climb, Solo, Part 1, Bronze to Silver. Uh, it has a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of tips. I've already gotten an unbelievable amount of feedback that is really, really good. And today I ate hella. You ate hella. What All dish is hella? Food. What is that? What is, what is this dish? Hella. What is it? What? Did you say you ate hella? Hella. <laughs> like a lot. Like a lot. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a special dish called hella. I was interested. So look around. Remember, um, always look around. Always. One squad. One squad's with us. They're going high. You can split over here. So, res of right now, this R301 is going to f***ing fry them. Um, because I already have all the attachments for it, I'm absolutely grabbing all the light ammo I can. I'm not going to be picking up um, any like extra stuff. Now, what I want to do is I want to pay attention. I'm staring off in the distance right now. I know my teammate has a triple take. Okay. I'm going to back up here, right? I'm going to pop a battery. And I'm going to take the high ground. I killed one. It might be up top. Yeah. Oh, to my left. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dip off here. He's gonna jump on me. He's uh, really low. No wraith. Like one. Yep. Nice. <laughs> oh, what are you guys doing to me? Hell. Stop, har stop harassing him, Ethan. Bro, I was trying to use the bathroom. Did, can you not see that I'm using the bathroom? Taking a shit. I'm taking a deuce. Taking a shit. Okay. Fuck. Oh, fuck. 
Oh my god. You gold go. players are a different breed. Ooh. It's like little monsoons running around everywhere. Boy. Little little monsoons everywhere. Uh, like we have our own in Predator. Such His name is Monsoon. Oh. The pro scene has one of those. Y'all got like 20 different monsoons every other day. No one tops yeah, yeah, Monsoon yeah. though. Monsoon is... Okay. So I'm in a really bad spot. I'm actually going to use this right here. I'm going to use this uh, high ground. I'm going to walk over. So I'm going to use this bubble. Where? Oh, behind, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna get inside over here. Playing Horizon is one of those things where. Okay, I'm gonna walk over here. I'm lagging, I don't know why. Hold the door. Okay, almost cracked him. I'm gonna take this top floor. Or this mid floor, mid floor. Sorry. Get a different angle. I need to hit a shots because I just. She's so weak. She's so weak behind that. What? Under, 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 careful, under. Yep, right, right under. Okay, what I need to do is I need to like jump, I need to slide, I need to stay alive as much as possible. I need to stay alive as long as possible. He might drop on me. This guy's low, remember. He's gonna climb up. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep moving. Okay, I'm gonna switch. Uh I'm gonna toss my Q out on top of the stairs. I'm gonna hold these stairs. Um, Wraith is of uh, 20 HP. Okay, I'm gonna drop. Okay, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go back inside the bubble. Climbing up. Is that it? No, no way. Okay. I'm gonna grab uh, the ammo. I'm gonna swap to a mastiff. Take this. Bounce. See what else is coming in. Okay. I had no he's blue armor. He's got 40. Knocked one over here. Nice. I'm here. I just one more in the one more in the window. I'm gonna I'm gonna toss the dark star. Now he can't walk backwards. Okay, now oh, they're all dead. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna armor swap here. I'm gonna take his Q and then I'm gonna hold the dark star. Make sure. Okay. coming up on me. Crack them. I'm gonna hold this, make sure that he's not gonna peek. Give me some pieces of now I don't have that many heals, right? So what I need to do is I need to make sure the next decision I make, I have to get underneath them so he can't touch me. Extra cells. Purple helmet. So we're gonna be watching the right side. He wasn't gonna pay attention to me. Now I'm gonna go on the left side. Now I'm gonna slide. Oh, oh no! Uh. Okay, what I'm gonna do is grab some ammo, extra meds. We have med kits or Phoenix kits. They're all the way top floor? Yep, yep, yep. One's on the bottom floor. So I'm gonna throw Narcstar, my like my last fucking thing to stay alive. Knock him, knock him, knock him. And we're gonna go for an armor swap. Should be above me. So my massive. Nice. Now the Arcstar was a latch to stitch effort. It was basically I'm dead. I'm gonna throw the Arcstar. It might reposition them to basically get them to put themselves in a bad scenario. It actually ended up sticking them. That was just fucking lucky. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I have no other way to fucking tell you. But now I can actually loot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Listen up, the ring's moving. Oh, my God. West. 
Yard. Just move, just move. Uh, follow me, follow me, follow me. So he wasted uh, his dome, um, which is a bad thing. Now I want you to pop a battery and slide down the hill like this. As you slide down, you can pop a battery right here. I'm gonna hold this angle for you. So now this team is holding that angle. Yeah, we have to move this way though, because the other team is gonna be holding the choke right over here. So that that team is gonna be right there. They'll be staring at us in probably five, four, three, two, one. Uh, I only have six. Okay, so I almost cracked both of them. I'm moving. So I'm doing a little bit of damage and I'm moving. Doing a little bit of damage and I'm moving. It's because they're going to be popping cells and they're allowing me to rotate because I out-traded them in damage. Essentially, I'm going to be the one that's trying to hold them out and not vice versa. So this is the wall that I want. Oh, this guy's making a fucking mistake. He has red. Oh my god, I'm gonna fuck right now. In a second. Same bit. I'm gonna pop my Q first. Then I'm gonna pop a battery. I'm gonna wait. Oh, sh. We absolutely have to push that. So I can't. I can't fight them right now. I have to then slide. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it to the back of this pill, right? Or back of this thing right here. The other team is behind them. The other team is behind them. I'm not watching them Bloodhounds one. I'm dropping. Yeah, there's a Kraber something with the wide swing. That guy's real. Very good. We finish off the whole shirt army. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. No. He just popped an ult. This is what you're gonna do. Throw your Gibby off. Throw your Gibby off on that bubble. Throw your Gibby off on that bubble. I, I can't. Hold on. You gotta survive. You gotta hold your shield. I'm going for this armor swap. If I can grab it. Pop my Q, toss the battery. I'm gonna hold this angle. I'm gonna push him now. Please, fing game. Okay, going back to my going back to my spot, going back to my spot. He's gonna try to go for a bubble res, I'm healing. Reloading my gun. There's no need to be overly aggressive. He has a Kraber, so we're chilling. I'm gonna wait for him to make a mistake. Here on my left. Okay, now I'm gonna push up on him. Get him, yes! <laughs> GG's. Yeah. So my teammate said, tap me, tap me, tap me. There's something important. There's a reason why I didn't tap him. So many people, so many lifelines. You need to, you need to like, this is important. So many lifelines would have, would have tapped. The reason why you didn't res him there is there was a Gibraltar ult. If I resed him, he would have got hit by the Gibraltar ult and died. Or if I didn't res him, he holds his shield and he can block as many Gibraltar shots as possible. And if he survived that, then I can res him. He's, he might be dead either way, but he has a higher survivability actually holding his gun shield and pointing it in the way, um, no, that wasn't my Gibby. I'm 99% sure it was their Gibby.